821, Lori Tanner, friend of the show. She's CEO of Rankin Jordan Pediatric Hospital. Good morning, Lori Tanner. Hi, how are you? How are you? Rankin Jordan is one of Carney's Kids charities, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, we won't tell people that. We don't, <laughs> we don't want to give we Carney. We might have just did. We don't want to give Carney any credit. Uh, Rankin Jordan's been around how long? Well, Mary started the hospital in 1941 on Ladue Road. And what was the reason? Actually, to take care of kids that were in transition between hospital and home. 1941 right. hospitals looked a little bit different, and so did kids. Right. We do the same thing, transitioning kids between hospital and home, but now the kids are just a lot sicker. And it started out of her home, right? No, it wasn't her home. Oh. I think it was a misperception out there. She actually built the place on Ledoux Road for the very purpose of taking care of children. Actually, our, our legal name is the Rankin-Jordan Convalescent Home for Crippled Children. And at 1941, Ledoux was gravel west of Lindbergh. So it was out in the country. Wow. It's grown exponentially, and there's a lot of people who have given a lot back to Rankin Jordan over the years. Absolutely. I mean, we take care of uh, medically complex children. We take care of socially complex children. 85% of the kids are there through the Medicaid system. And... Um, so, you know, obviously not all of the health care expenses are covered, and we lean on the community to be able to help us also bridge that gap um, in, uh, in, in pulling it all together and people get involved and really help us make it happen. What's going on now? What's, 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 uh, what's new at Rankin-Jordan? Well, we're growing by leaps and bounds. Um, we've been full, actually. Um, we, have had a, we have 34 inpatient beds, and we have a very large outpatient therapy program. We've been full with a waiting list for kids that need to, to need to get in to see us um, that are waiting either in hospitals or they'll do the back and forth between home. Um, and we're looking to expand um, because there are more kids that need our services. So it's so sad. So there are kids who are transitioning out of the hospital and into the home, and, and that, which is a monumental transition. And so they go through you guys more or less. And so these kids are just waiting in the hospital, waiting to go? Is well, that well, they can. I mean, these are the sickest of the sick kids. A lot of times they're dependent on ventilators to help them breathe, or uh, they need uh, special feedings uh, that's too complicated in the home, or they still just need hardcore rehab, the physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech, um, or to learn how to walk again, to learn how to talk again. Right. So they're they're... They're, they've gotten well enough to get out of the intensive care setting, mm -hmm. but they're just too sick to go home. And it's not a residential facility, right? Not I mean, at all. This mm -hmm. is a, a rehab, so you get them somewhat well enough so they can go back to right. their home. Right, absolutely. All of our kids go home. I, they, they don't live with us. Mm -hmm. Lori Tanner, how do, you, how do you do it every day? How do you, how do you, I love what I do. How do you, I mean, it's, it's, does it just, I mean, is it uplifting? Does it get you down? Does it, I mean, it's a tough gig, right? Well, I don't see it as a tough gig. I really love what I do. Um, I'm a nurse by background, so uh, helping people and uh, especially helping families, that's what I'm really passionate about is taking care of families because, you know, the child is important. Um, they're the center of care, but we've got to take care of the parents so that they're okay to take care of their kid. What do you want people to know about Rankin-Jordan? That we're a very special place and that we are um, a one of a kind in the country. We have a unique um, level of care here in St. Louis that doesn't exist anywhere else. And that um, I, I look to, see, um, and some of the things that we do while we have really great clinical outcomes and we do tremendous things with, with children, um, but we also are, are a good cost saving model too. And so the, the business side of healthcare, I think we're able to accomplish both goals, which is important right now. Talk about that for a moment because people don't understand um, this care is actually saving money in the long term. Explain that. Well, anytime that you, like I said, you know, we're one of one in the whole country. So anytime you can get a child out of the intensive care setting, which is very high, high dollars, right. I mean, these are really sick kids, and we can get them to a lower cost. Uh, environment. We don't have an operating room because the kids don't need it. We don't have an ER because we have great services for that in this community that Rankin Jordan doesn't need to duplicate that. We don't have in-house lab and radiology. We focus all of our expenses on what these kids need during this period of time. So you can lower the cost exponentially for those kids. When kids need the tertiary level, that really high-end level of care, they need to be downtown. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to be Confusing sure. that we're in competition. We collaborate with our, 
our partner partners, um, you know, St. Louis Children's and Cardinal Glennon and Mercy here in St. Louis. But we take care of kids all throughout the Midwest. Yeah, and then and then some that then transition out into home, right? Right. Th- that's a better quality of life for the child, better quality of life for the parents. Right. And it costs less. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, where can people go and find out more information? Where can people go and give all their money to and oh. next charity events? All right. Well, Rankin Jordan uh, has a great website at rankinjordan.org. You can also give us a call at 314-872-6400. And, and our next big event is our golf tournament. Um, we um, have a great turnout at Norwood Hills on July 7th. I love Norwood Hills. That's a great mm-hmm. golf course. It is I nice. do, too. It's yeah, my wh- favorite. What is it, July 7th? July 7th. July Norwood 7th. Hills. It's a Monday. Shotguns start at 12, and I already know the weather's going to be perfect. It's never of hot course. in July. Beautiful. You perfect. guys would take hot in July right now, there, wouldn't you? <laughs> there's, a, um, there's a weather forecast as well as um, she, she can run Rankin Jordan, and she's a meteorologist <laughs> all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, Lori Tanner, I'm going to ask you again because I don't want Jane Higgins yelling at me. Anything else people need to know about Rankin Jordan that um, you're not telling us? We love volunteers. So if folks have, you know, you know, time, talent, and treasure, I mean, we will take it all. Yeah. Um, I think the most important thing, if you'd like to come in and take a tour, it takes about an hour of your time. And that's where you can really see what we do. Right. Um because it's hard to understand if you're not there. So we the doors are open for tours, and folks can get involved in any way they want. Because more importantly, we need more people and in personally involved in the hospital. Well, you must be desperate for money if you're taking John Carney's money from, from, from <laughs> Carney's kids. So, I mean, that's... I've been desperate for a long time. <laughs> uh, it's a great cause, and it's wonderful. Thank you very much for sharing. It's another um, one of those... I like to take his words because it's better but president bush called it a thousand points of light you're one of those points of light that you know people are reaching out and doing great things thank you and never get uh enough attention Lori tanner ceo of uh, rankin jordan the website again rankinjordan.org very simple Lori, have a good week thank you you too 828 here big 550 ktr